Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and I'm very excited today because we have a very special guest. We have Sherry Lukacs. Well, thank you, Stacy. I've listened to you, and you're amazing, and I want to thank you for having me on the show. So as Stacy said, my name is Sherry, and I'm the founder of Red House Wellness. And I've been studying and learning and growing, I think, how to be my best self 40 years. And I finally decided I've gone on all these different retreats. So I've gone on yoga retreats where they serve me food, hamburgers, French fries, and donuts, which I didn't think was really good for my body. I've been on spiritual retreats where I never moved. So I wanted to find a retreat that helped people discover their full body health and personal empowerment. So I started Red House Wellness with the four pillars, the physical, the emotional, the mental and spiritual. And I like to look at it, Stacy, like a tabletop. So Stacy, have you ever gone to a restaurant and sat down at a table and the table's a little wobbly? Yes. Okay. So usually you call the server over and they come over with a little piece of paper and they uh -huh. stick it under one leg and all of a sudden the table's strong. Yes. So when we get strong in one of the pillars, yeah, it ripples down and everything becomes stronger. Mm -hmm. And the reverse side of that, when we are not taking care of ourselves and we are start to get sick or weak in one part of our body, it kind of ripples down to everything. Yeah. So that's why I started Red House Wellness. So I'll just give you a quick overview of the four pillars. So we start physically. So Stacy, you could have the best ideas. You could want to write a book. You could do want, want to go out and, and have the best job, best relationship, do all these great things. But if you don't feel good physically, if you're tired, if you don't have any energy, if you're in pain or you just wake up, oh, it's hard to do the yeah. things you love. So you're only as healthy as your cells are healthy. Yeah. We want to make sure you have more alkaline than acidity in your body. We want to get away. We want to release the inflammation. Yeah. So physically, we put you on a plant-based, 100% organic program with lots of vegetables, which are alkaline lots of lemon, lots of water. And it is, we do intermittent fasting. So you're going to come on a Sunday, leave on a Saturday, lighter and wiser in every dimension. And physically you're going to say, oh my gosh, I can't believe the possibility of waking up every day and feeling great. So how you eat, what you eat, when you eat, how you sleep, exercise, all those components of physical health we start with then your body's your home. Yeah. And if you don't take care of it, where are you going to live? Right. So, second one is emotional. Emotional fitness and emotional freedom. I like to say we let people into our heads that we would never let into our homes. Yeah. I used to, and I still do sometimes. I hang on to conversations, to emails, to texts, to situations. And I'm like, oh my God, that hurt me, that bothered me. And I, I respond, I react instead of respond. Yeah. Well, so we want to get to the point and it's, we can show you tools in 16 seconds through breath work. Let it go. Yes. Let it go. Let it go through meditation. Mm -hmm. Just release. Yes. Third one is mental. Knowing that you always, always have a choice. You always have a choice to go from where you are to where you choose to go, not where you have to go. Right. So some people say, I have to take my kids to school. You could say, I get to take my kids to, to school. How lucky am I that I have kids to take to school? Right, right. I do this with my husband. I'm like, oh my God, I have to make a breakfast. And I'm like, you know what? I'm lucky that I get to make him breakfast because I have a husband. Yeah. So our words and knowing you have a choice. If you don't want to do that anymore, you have a choice to change your life. Yeah. But we want to show you how to take back your power and realize you're never, ever stuck. Right. There's at least six, six different perspectives. And we want to show you how you can move forward with action. Yes. And the fourth one is spirituality. I believe that each one of us has unique gifts, unique talents that we were born with. And they're inside and we need just to 
cultivate them, have them grow so that we can live our best lives and help others. Yes. Like you, I see you. You, you do amazing things. You have certain talents that I don't have. And we want us to be authentic. Mm-hmm. And being authentic and living the life you were meant to live, yeah. you'll have more joy. You'll have more peace. You'll have more spirituality. And to do that, we need to connect with the inner guru. Yes. I say we exercise outside. We need to inner size inside. Yes. We need to connect inside. Connect to the stillness, to the silence, our soul, our creator. Yes. Say, why am I here? Yes. Why am I here now? Why am I here on this earth? What can I give when you serve yourself and you serve others? To me, it's the icing on the cake. Oh, it yeah. It feels wonderful. Yes. So we have created Red House Wellness to help you gain clarity, receive more energy, awaken your heart. Yeah. How to get emotional freedom. And we do this through meditation, through sound baths, through journaling, through going out with nature, yeah. baths, the saunas. We will show you so many different ways. And then the last part of Red House Wellness, which our guests have loved, is we follow you six weeks later. Mm-hmm. Because one week is a lot. You take yeah. in so much information. And then we're like, goodbye, have a nice life. Great to see you. <laughs> that wouldn't serve you. Yeah, and I, yeah. It doesn't serve us because we're like, how are you doing? So for the next six weeks, we there's a text that you belong to. And we're like, Stacy, when you came to Red House Wellness, we have a workshop called the Passion Test Workshop. And we, we help you establish your five top passions. What do you love? What do you like? What lights you up in life? Yes. And then we say, are you taking action steps? Mm-hmm. When are you going to start that? What does it look like? And we help you on the four pillars, the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual to get to the point where you're taking baby steps to move forward and to do those things on a daily basis. Yes. And you find like people say, how do I know when I'm there? How do you feel? Yeah. Like, it'll feel good. We use the emotions to help guide us. Mm -hmm. and you'll know when life is going in the direction you want yes oh that's that's what we do at red house wellness and there's there's so much more so i wanted to ask you do you have any questions or anything that you would like to know more about that i could share well you know when we were talking earlier i you know i love the fact that you're able to help people open up to their inner selves you know so many people go through life and they have so much to offer and it's all whether it's it's a lack of confidence or it goes back to their childhood how they grew up in their environment or a traumatic event that occurred or just the stress of life overall just you know we get caught up sometimes in in our earthly world and we have so much to offer and we tend to neglect ourselves we're doing 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 for everyone else we're trying to please our family we're trying to do well at work we're trying to you know take care of our kids we have all these roles and all these things and the one person that always gets neglected is ourselves and eventually it all catches up to us and so many people, you know, I always say, almost every show I bring it up, but 70% of illnesses is caused by stress. And one of the ways that you, you gain stress is not by caring for yourself the way you should. And by releasing all these things that are, are, are making us stuck or slowing us down or causing us stress in our lives, if you can learn how to release them and you can just let everything go and then you learn different techniques on how to cope with life in a different way, a different mindset, you could actually open yourself to a whole brand new world and go to levels that you thought were never even possible. You could be the person that you've always wanted to be. And you were, you are already, you just don't realize it. It's in you. Uh, you know, some people don't realize they got to just learn how to take it out. They have to learn how to patch up the little things in their lives that are causing them to slow down, l- put some love into their life, you know, care for themselves and realize they come first. Because I think a lot of women and a lot of men, you're, are they, they feel like they have to be pleasers. They're either, they're either the rock of the house. They feel that, you know, they feel guilt if they don't take care of everybody else. 
and it's hurting people. But if we can have time to really focus on ourselves and let go of all those things, it's like, and, and, and that's what you're doing at these retreats. You could become a whole new person and, and, and achieve your, and elevate yourself to a whole new level of life that you never even thought was possible. Yes. And I, I like what you say, you know, when we wake up in the morning, if we don't take a moment to connect to our inner self yes. and decide that we are going to not let life run us, but that we are going to take control of that and be our best self, we do that through meditation, Yes, we do that either through journaling, but we connect to that beautiful divine self and say, no matter what happens today, like I'm having a bad day, I ran out of coffee, I'm having a bad day. My alarm didn't go off. I'm having a bad day. The refrigerator broke. Mm -hmm. We say, I'm having a good day because I've set myself up for that. Yes. No matter what happens, I have the tools and the resources. Life is like a lesson or a blessing. Yes. And so we need to learn that. So at Red House Wellness, we help you set up a morning routine and an evening routine to help you sleep better, to help you relax. We're constantly on like a treadmill. Yeah. It's like a fight or flight, constantly stress and anxiety. And people, when they take a moment to just breathe and just be and look around and be grateful and appreciation, because when you're grateful and you have appreciation, you don't, you're not searching. You already have that. Yeah. And that's why studies have shown how important appreciation and gratitude is because it's already present in our lives. Yes. And that is like the key love. You mentioned love and healing and, you know, thoughts become things. I'm sure you've heard this thoughts yeah. become things. And I like to say our words are our wings. Yes. But it stems from our beliefs. It stems yes. from the day, you know, when you were born your caretakers, your parents, whoever raised you without meaning to, or maybe meaning to put beliefs into your mind. Yeah. And then you get to say all of a sudden, I don't believe that anymore. Yeah. I choose to live a different way. Yeah. So it's, it's gaining clarity and it's awareness. Yeah. Where we are to where we want to go to realize Oh my God, I didn't realize that my parents told me people are mean. Yeah. You better be careful of them. You walk down the streets, we're both from New York, walk down the streets, don't smile at them because they might get you. Yeah. People are raised that way. And you're like, wait a minute. I don't believe that about people. I was raised, right. my dad told me, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> always be careful. Don't spend more money. Just always be. And all of a sudden I realized, guess what? Money just grow on trees. It's paper. Yeah. It's and I'm smart with my money and I give my money away and I'm also okay to receive money. Exactly. Abundance. I always have enough to buy whatever I want. Right. And as I age, Stacey, what I want in life changes because I want more experiences to yeah. be with friends and my family and to help people. So I don't need a price tag to buy, yeah. but I have enough. I always have enough, whatever <laughs> I need. That's yeah mindset of abundance and my health. I do what I need to do to be healthy, to take care of myself. So I think your question was, it is the internal world learning how to shift that. So my, no matter what happens out there in the external world, yes, you're going to be okay. Exactly. You connect from inside. Mm -hmm. And that's why the tools of meditation, my meditation teacher says, meditate five, 10 minutes. Yes. In the morning and in the afternoon. Because oh, the morning the... is you like set the table. You yes. wake up in the morning, you say, this is my intention. This is what I'd like to do. This is how I want to be. And mm -hmm. you set the table. So if right. we kept setting the table, you know, yes, it would just keep piling up. Right. Second meditation is to release and let go and like clear the dishes. Yes. And I learned that I spent... 10, 15, 20, sometimes just five minutes in the morning meditating. Yes. And around two or four o'clock in the afternoon, people have pushed my buttons a little. I'm yeah. getting a little bit like this. And I just sit there and go, let it go. Yeah. Let it go. 
let it go, breathe, release. And that sets me up for the rest of my day. So yeah. that has been a most amazing awakening in my life. Two meditations. And yeah. Short. Because sometimes people say an hour in the morning, an hour at night. I'm more believer consistency, whatever you do. Yeah. 10 minutes to exercise in the morning, 10 minutes at night. Mm -hmm. At Red House Wellness, we teach you 80-20. Mm -hmm. We'll show you 100% on a way to feel amazing. Because we right. meditate twice a day. You have an amazing chef that comes in and teaches you how to eat. Right. We do all these things. But when you leave, we want to fit it into your life. So yeah. I like to say 80-20. 80%, 80 I do all these things because I choose to look and feel a certain way. Right. And 20%, I eat what I want. I do what I want. I think it would be healthier to have a McDonald's hamburger with French fries and Coke with you, Stacey, <laughs> laughing and eating than eating vegetables, being miserable by myself and saying, I have to eat vegetables and I can't go out to dinner because yeah. it's supposed to be healthier. Yeah. The joy you put in your life, like eating a hamburger with you, which some yeah. people think a hamburger is fine, others don't. But if we were laughing right. and smiling, and I feel like we're already soul sisters connected yeah. meeting you, that hamburger is not going to hurt me at all. Right. percent I couldn't eat that hamburger every day with you because yeah. then I'd probably not feel good. <laughs> and also, it's okay. But if you do it with the right mindset and with joy, yeah, and be angry and upset about it. Like, don't eat a meal when you're angry and upset. I've done that. I don't yeah. care what you're eating. The digestion's not good. Yeah. So you have the choice to say, you know what? I'm not my best self. Give me a moment. Yeah. I need to breathe a little. I need to shift that. So I'm in a place that serves me and serves you. Yeah. And I think that when you, whatever you do in life, if you keep growing and contributing to yourself and society to make the world better, that's why we're here. Yeah. To find that peace. It says in the constitution, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It yeah. says right there, we should all be happy. Like, <laughs> right, let's do it. Yeah. That's what I want to help people is to discover their through their true authentic self and be who they are sometimes as as when parents they raise children you know and they say sit there and look pretty my I, I one person told me sit there look pretty and don't say anything so i used to just sit there they yeah said, you, just sit there but don't say anything sherry you just I'm like what you know or don't be your true self wear the clothes you want yeah just express yourself there's a reason it's inside of you or you wouldn't have it. Exactly. You know, so that's what I really want to show everyone or, or explain and teach is we want to awaken. Yes. Your beautiful, authentic, loving kind. And there's healing involved. Yeah. Sometimes we need to heal our hearts. Oh, we for sure. Forgive. We need to be kinder. So coming to an environmental change by coming to like a retreat or coming to something like Red House Wellness, you get to experience a whole week without making the food, doing the dishes. You don't do anything except take care of yourself. And that's the kind of retreat that I wanted to create. Yeah. I feel is most beneficial for the people that come. I love it. You know, and, and you know, one thing I was thinking about when you were saying that is that I know so many people and I've worked with so many people that have come from, from lifestyles where it was embedded in their heads that, you know, you, you don't say this and you have to act like this. And if you do this, that's, that you, you're going to look like a bad person and all mm -hmm. these things in their head. And anytime they did something and it was normal and fine, but in their head, they thought they were a bad person because mom and dad or the person they grew up with kept embedding you're not supposed to do that you have to act like this you have to da 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 and they grew up and they still carry all that luggage and all that baggage and all that negativity that was thrown on them in the, because of the generation that their previous you know members of their family grew up and that's how it just circled because that it the, dysfunctionalism circles you know and the behavior circles and and so many of them didn't really understand who they were and how beautiful of a person they were because they never got to really look deep enough in themselves to figure out who they are and how beautiful of a person they really are so i think something like your retreat is great because 
you're taking, you're getting rid of all of the world's labelism and stigmatism, and you're really having time to just focus on you and who are you? You know, I've asked questions to clients. I'm, I asked them, so if you took away this title and you took away this and you took away this, who are you? And I would have a, like a blank stare and they, they didn't know who they were, you know, taking the role of mom or taking the role of whoever, you know, their job was and, and this and this and this, and who are you as a person? They didn't know, you know, and so many people, we carry so much beauty and it's just, it's, it's a healing process, you know, because over the years, you know, so many things have happened to people, life in general. And the, the most important part is understanding who you are, loving yourself, feeling good about yourself, having a clear and, and conscious mind and, and feeling good. So when you look in the mirror, you say, I like that person. You know, how many people I know that look in the mirror and they, they don't like who they see or they don't look in the mirror at all, actually, because they don't like the person that they see on the other side, that reflection. You know, you want to you want to be able to walk wake up in the morning and, you know, look forward to the next day and feel good about the person you are and every, and learn to love yourself. And I think, I think retreats like yours make people understand who they are and, and what they're capable of doing and who their desired self is, you know, by the time they probably finish the program, that's what it seems like. They know what their desired self needs to, you know, is, and they could strive because they've learned all the tools now to start them on the, on the right track so they can get and become the best version of themselves because everybody is different. We all have a different version of who the best version of ourselves is, but as long as you could get to there, and baby steps, you know, and reach that, that desired goal, you know, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what other people want you to be. It's, it's who you want to be. Who is that desired person? Who do you want to be? Because, you know, all your life, everybody's telling you what you should be, but you know what, who do you want to be is the question. And that, thank you, Stacy, for saying that. It's like, we want you to thrive in life and not survive. Yes. And to do that, we ask the sacred questions like, who am I when I'm my best self? With all the noise in the world, people don't even sit and ask themselves that. Yeah. What, are, what does my heart truly long for? What am I truly grateful for? So by going and taking the time to sit and asking, why am I here? What do I truly want? When you get clarity, yeah. then you can take the steps to move forward. So yeah. that's what this retreat gives you is that opportunity to get to go inside and awaken who you were truly meant to be. Yeah. And that's why it is, it's going in nature. It's doing all these different yoga. We do area yoga. We do laughing yoga. We show you with music and sound sound baths, what that does to awaken and see what gives you joy. Some yeah. people don't even know what they like anymore. And I understand yeah. that we have part of our Thursday is spiritual day. And for 12 to 14, 15 hours, we don't talk. We don't have any internet and we just sit with the critic or the cheerleader is what I like to call them. Mm -hmm. And you just sit with your thoughts because if you don't know what's driving you, if you have the cheerleader that says, Stacy, you're amazing. Get up, girl. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Let's do all these things we meant to do. Or do you have the critic that says, come on, Stacy, just go back to bed. You don't need to do that today. Come on. You're mm -hmm. not worthy. You're not worth it. Just, you know, we have both of those. There's a balance. Yeah. There's two energy forces inside of us all the time. Yes. When you're aware, like I call them my critic and my cheerleader. And I'm like, you know what, critic, you're out. Yeah. I, I'm changing the channel. I don't want to listen to that. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. I'm going to balance myself, center myself and listen to the cheerleader that says, yeah. you know what, Sherry, you're deserving. Yeah. You have the life you want. What right. You want? You know, is it serves you and serves others? Let's go out and figure out how to get that. Exactly. A whole day. And some people are like a whole day without talking. And I said, you'd be surprised what you learn a whole day without the noise. Yeah. 
of other people, the internet, emails. And you know what? At the end of the day, everything goes well. Yeah. So when I run the retreats, I have one daughter who says, I needed you. I needed to talk to you. And you weren't available. I had to figure it out on my own. So <laughs> it serves others. You know what I mean? Because sometimes yeah. I tend, I used to be, I would help my kids by solving their problems instead of giving them the tools to help mm -hmm. them. Yeah. So now she's like, I had to figure it out by myself. And I'm like, yes, that was the whole point of for you. And I think one more thing I like to say is I think challenges and stress and anxiety, if we can shift that and look at why is that coming into my life? Yeah. Can I learn from it? Can I look at it as a gift? Is it a lesson or is it a blessing? It shifts the perspective. Yeah. Instead of being the victim, mm -hmm. you become the victor. You become yeah. the author of your book. You become the poet. You get to decide instead of saying, these things keep happening. There's a reason they yeah. happen. Because we're energy. So once you realize if you're energy flowing in, what we give out, we attract. Yes. And I had talked about this in the morning. Since you're such a centered, loving, kind, beautiful person, mm -hmm. you attract that in your life and on your podcast. I know you do. <laughs> so that's what I want to show people. Get really clear with clarity on what's important to you and what serves you. Yeah. And the biggest gift, Stacy, you can give people say, how can I help my husband? How can I help my kids? How can I help my friends? They're struggling. You know what the biggest gift you can give someone what? is the gift of you rising to your best version. Yes. Because when I'm in a space of light and love and kindness, yes, it ripples out. Oh, for sure. And you feel it. And when I'm angry and mad and upset, which is normal, I get like that. Everybody feels it and they're like, yes. oh, and my kids get nervous. My husband, my friends. Yeah. Are like, oh. So the biggest gift is to find your peace Yes, and keep living it and keep sharing it. And one day your family, friends, kids will be like, what are you doing? You're yeah. So you seem happier. What are you taking? Yeah. You share what you're doing. Exercise, meditation, journaling, being in nature, writing, whatever it is, you share right. that and you help them become their best self. Oh, for sure. Yes. And, and, it, and it's so important because you want to live life. You want to live a happy, healthy, productive life. You don't want to go through life. There's so many times I've walked, you know, let's say in the mall or, the, or in a store and you see people with a frown on their face and you could just look at their face and you could see that they're just struggling. They're not happy for whatever reason. And you don't want to go through life like that. You want to mm -hmm. wake up and you want to hear the birds sing. You want to be able to feel energetic. You want to feel, feel like you're going to, you're looking forward to today. You know, what do I have? What's going to happen? What's going to, what am I going to accomplish today? You know, and you want to feel good about who you are as a person and you, you want to, and you want to, you rub that energy on other people. You know, you want people, you want people to leave, you know, I've done talks where I, after the talk, people have hugged me and they're so motivated. And that's what you want. You want people to feel good all the time. And even with, with the retreats that you do, people leave there with, with a different mental mindset and they have that positive energy rushing through them and they're ready to conquer the world, you know, and as long as they continue what they learn, you know, it becomes a natural uh, lifestyle, you know, everything that I have learned in, in different areas that, you know, that I have gotten either help for or joined or, you know, and went for different types of retreats. And, and I came back and all, everything that applied to me that I knew that would make a significant change in my life, I made a part of my lifestyle. And after a while, I didn't even realize that I, I put that change in there. It became natural. And I st started living life differently. And it carried through over the years. And it made me better and better and better and happier and happier and happier. And that's what you want for people. You want people to live their best per possible uh, life that they can have, the best version of themselves, because we deserve it. And that's yeah. what people don't realize is that they deserve it. People's self-worth, you know, so many people don't realize how worthy they are and how great they are. They don't give themselves credit. And people have to realize that they are worthy of feeling their best 
personal version of themselves that they they deserve it they they need it and they deserve it oh 100 percent, 100 percent. you 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 are in alignment with what i teach and what i do and i know that because i just see you um and we just want people to realize we're not here to suffer yeah you're not put on this i i truly believe that the god the creator the divine jesus whatever you call whoever made you yeah want you to be happy mm -hmm. and so the experiences the challenges the horrible things that happen yeah we have to number one take responsibility that okay they've happened yes acceptance mm -hmm. what to do with that yeah and so when you leave red house wellness you just have a better understanding and it's a ripple effect because like i'm smiling i smile at you you smile mm -hmm. at me i mean right now if somebody came in and wanted to fight with me, like after I meditate, my husband goes, oh, I love it right after you meditate. Cause I know <laughs> like Cause I'm just like, I just want to keep the peace and the love. Yeah. And have Italian for dinner or Mexican. It doesn't really matter. Like, it's, yeah, you're not going to get so worried because I feel so good. Yeah. And you can keep that right. With certain tools and techniques. We can get you to that place of people can put an ice cube up to you and yeah. you can feel warm. Yeah. You don't have to react to exactly. what's happening outside. If internally you've connected mm -hmm. to your beautiful divine self and yeah. you know who you are and you know where to go. Yeah. And you search inside, not outside. Exactly. So that's the key. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Now, if you had to take today's um, what everything we talked about today, what are some important things you'd like to emphasize to the listeners today? Ah, so I'd like to tell you is sometimes we just have to be a yes. You just have to say yes. Mm -hmm. You got to release and let go mm -hmm. right now of something like, I can't, I'm not sure what it would be a yes, yeah. let it go and start. I'm ready right now. Right. Take an action step. Mm -hmm. sometimes I think I was, you know, that we're scared of not failing, but of rising up to our best self. Yeah. What are people going to think of me? If I do this, what are they going to do if I wear this or I do this or whatever? Right. If it feels right inside of you, I want you to go out and shine. Exactly. Yeah. And be open, like curiosity, be open to possibilities, to miracles, synchronicity, serendipities, whatever you call it. Yeah. That resonates with you and realize you are worthy. Mm -hmm. You are whole, Stacy. I'm rooting for you. I know, Stacy, you're rooting for them. Yeah. Find what they think is lacking. Cause I don't mm -hmm. think anybody's lacking. I just think they need to rediscover. Yeah. Because like, we're whole, we're worthy, we're loved, we're safe. And we, have just kind of lost it sometimes, but yeah. it's there. So when you create that and you have that foundation, because we have to set ourselves up. So you have to have yeah. a strong foundation. You know, we change the way we sit. We sit up taller. We change our state, change your story, blah, blah, right. blah, 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 blah. Then you find what you need to find to move forward. Yes. I just want everyone to know they have a choice. Become a choiceitarian. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's a word, Stacy. Become a choiceitarian to figure out what gives you joy. Yeah. Laughter and love and peace. And when it's inside of you, it ripples out to others. And I really think with everything going on now with the wars and all the problems, like they say, what can I do? You need to be better. Yeah into more loving, more forgiving. And when you walk out and you bring that energy, I know that somebody will find it and somebody's ready to snap. They'll just go, maybe I could be a little kinder too. Yeah. So it always starts with you. Right. And you know that because you you live this life. You walk <laughs> this talk. I know you. I see you. I feel your soul. <laughs> and I think that's the biggest words of wisdom to share. Yeah. You be the change. How corny that see, be the change you want to see. Yeah. You can't see, be kind and then say, well, I don't like you because I don't like your color. <laughs> Why well, you're a Republican and you're a Democrat. That's not kind. No. 
But we need to say, you know, you could believe what you believe. I believe this. Let's see if we can right. work together with your beliefs and my beliefs. Hold the space for both sides of an argument. Yeah. Listen to you. Why is that coming up for you? Mm -hmm. Usually we get upset because a need is not being met. Yeah. I know when I get angry and upset, a need is not being met. And it's usually a need of the heart, affection, mm -hmm. appreciation, attention, or acceptance. Yes. When I'm not heard or I don't get appreciated. I can get, you know, so that's why we become better with ourselves because we're more open to understanding, yeah. listening with open closing our mouth, opening our ears and saying, you have a right to speak and talk and say what you believe. And I'm going to listen. Yeah. Then kindly, I can say, I agree. That doesn't resonate with me. And we can still live together on this yeah. earth because I'm not better than you. We're all meant to live on this earth together yeah. and rise up and help others. Exactly. Help others. Yeah. So that's what I hope for every, all the listeners today, Stacy, <laughs> with your love and my love, hopefully they will feel that they will take a deep breath, exhale, hum, and then figure out what one thing they can do today to find more peace and more joy. Yes. And I, it starts I, with the breath. I really believe it does. It definitely does. It starts with the breath. And where can people find more information about your retreats? Thank you, Stacy. So Red House Wellness www.redhousewellness.com. Um, that is our website. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. And I'd like to offer a lovely gift. If anybody would like to go to our retreats or find Red House Wellness, and you mentioned the advisor, mm -hmm. Stacy, I'd like to offer you a complimenting massage. And I'd like to offer you a one-way uh, trip to the airport will compliment you, will pick you up or take you back, get a lovely massage and a coaching session with one of our team members that will help you just gain clarity on where you'd like to go. So all you have to do is write in, send a text, something, email and say, I heard you on the advisor with beautiful, wonderful Stacy. Mm. Love to see if Red House Wellness would be the place for you. Because we want to make sure you're going to get more than you're looking for at a retreat. Yeah. You know, if this retreat's not for you, let me help you find the right one. Right. Because that's the point. It's not come here. It's come to the one that's going to serve you. Yes. Because mm -hmm. ultimately, I want you to be better so that the world's better. So everyone finds that their place in the world. Yeah. And that they shine light, whatever level that is. Yeah. We want to show that you have a presence and you should find that and you should wake up feeling worthy mm -hmm. and whole every day. I love it. I love yeah. it. One. Oh, thank you so much, Sherry, for coming on the show today. I, I, you know, everything you had to say today, you know, just, it just, it, it just resonated with me and, and you really touched my heart today. You know, I think it's so important what you teach and how you help others. You know, there are so many people out there that, that struggle with, you know, so many different areas of their life. And, and that's why we do the show. And, and we, we, you know, we talk about balance in all areas of your life because, you know, sometimes it's just, there are certain things in our life that just cause cause people to just stop and not they get they just don't know how to move forward and certain things just you know they just they've gotten caught up with everything around them and they forget about themselves just like we talked about earlier and they just don't know who they are and they just don't think of themselves as worthy and they don't realize all the wonderful things they've accomplished and how beautiful yeah. they are. And they don't realize that, you know, sometimes they can't, they they are an excellent best version of themselves. They just don't see it in themselves too. And just taking time out to really renew, because I think it's so important that people take time out to renew themselves. They need, you know, they need a, a week or, you know, several days to just, you know, focus on them and not focus on anything else, but them and, and tend to the needs that their inner self needs. And, you know, you could see just miracles happen. So I, I thank you for, you know, creating this retreat. I thank you for all the work you do because it's amazing all the work you do and it's well needed in our society because our society is just a go-go society and there's a lot of stigmatism 
criticism, labelisms, and and a lot of stress that goes on that hinders people from you know, from being the best versions of themselves. And and imagine too, if you could become the best version of yourself, how much you can resonate to others and place that energy on others, and then you know people who are struggling with anger and hate and frustration and anxiety maybe those people that have changed themselves can help change others and maybe the snowball effect you know could help you know make things better in the life in the world we live in today oh and i want to thank you stacy for your gifts and your talents because you've touched so many people and it is you get up in the morning i know you without knowing you that you create your habits your habits create you you have established in your life mm -hmm. and this is your gift to help others and i want to just say to you thank you for the gifts uh, and talents that you give to others thank you so much this has been a pleasure i hope to have you back on the show soon i, I love talking to you thank you sherry thank you stacy you have a great day namaste namaste <laughs>